Ann Reed is here now with the National Center for Science Education. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. And you are discussing evolution, and to me, what is a staggering statistic of the number of people who don't believe? That's right, and the problem in, is caught in that one word of belief. Um, poll after poll after poll for decades has shown that approximately 30 to 40 percent of the American population does not believe in evolution. And scientists' heads explode when they hear that um, because it, evolution is such an integral part of biology and it's, it's completely uncontroversial in the scientific community that evolution is how biodiversity came to be and, and we understand so much about it and we have evidence for it in, for, in so many different fields that it's unbelievable that people could not accept all of that evidence. But the issue is that for a great many people, for 30 to 40 percent of Americans, evolution means they have to give up their faith. It's been presented to them as a dichotomy. You can either believe in God and you can believe in the Bible or you can believe in evolution. And one side is not going to win ever in that argument, as it were. So what do you encourage people to do, the scientists who know what they know and how to educate people to be able to kind of maybe marry those concepts? Mm -hmm. that, well, that's exactly right, that the, that the tactic is uh, to, to try to make a dent in the number of people who um, accept evolution is to back down a little bit and be willing to become a little bit more personal and a little bit more tolerant. Um, most scientists believe in God. Most American scientists believe in God. It's a very religious country. About 75 percent of Americans say they believe in God. Um, scientists are less likely to, but most scientists believe in God. So one of the first things they can do is say, do you think that there's a conflict between evolution and believing in God? Start there. Because then you're talking about what the real issue is. You're not talking about do you understand the science, which you know, most of us as scientists, we, when somebody says I don't accept evolution, we say, oh, j honey, sit down, I'm going to lay some science on you and you are going to get this. And a lot of scientists think that's what high school science teachers must not be doing. If science teachers were doing their jobs, everybody would get this, it's so clear. But that's not, that's not what is causing the hang up and so that's not what's going to work. How can the collaboration with ASCB really help you to get that message out and help to become more accepted in schools and as people grow? Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually the National Center for Science Education is reaching out to all kinds of scientific societies, not just ASCB, because scientists have a big role in this. Um, scientists are not entirely trusted by religious people. They a lot of people think that scientists have an agenda, and for some people they find scientists really very threatening that scientists are trying to turn their children into atheists. So we really need to, to back away from that, and, and my goal with the scientific societies is to get this message across that this really isn't about the science. This is really about understanding that science and religion can be separate. The evidence is really strong. The, the, the non-supernatural evidence is really strong and it's really useful. And, and, it's, and if science is going to progress, you have to accept that evidence. So it's almost as if the critical phase is the way you begin mm -hmm. the discussion exactly. and then after that you can present the science if someone is not defensive. Right. It's, it's, uh, you have to. Um, it, it, ironically, this phrase comes from the evangelical community. You have to earn the right to be heard. And, and that has to be by backing away from, you believe in God? Do you believe in fairies? Do you believe in Santa Claus? And I have heard scientists say those things. And it's just, um, it's just shooting ourselves in the foot. If, if our goal is to have people understand science and respect science and support science, then we really don't want to antagonize people and we don't want to make the battle, I want to take your religion away from you. It's a great message. And Ray, thank you so much. You're welcome.